Right then, so here we are in the next video. Uh, I've texted a load of my stuff. Obviously the crates are already done, uh, but if you have a look over here, I've used the um, textures to do the planets. So we've got a nice Mars looking texture, a sexy Earth, um, a Neptune planet on Saturn for some reason, and there you go, a little mini Jupiter chap over there. Um, the moon looks blue, but he's not blue. Um, it's just because, let's frame him up. Um, it's just because it's such a small shape that it's displaying the wireframe on it. So, there we go. You can see that it's got a moon texture on it. Um, I've also textured these pillars as well. But I've left the walls of the room. Um, what we're going to do with that is texture each face individually. So, we'll have a look at how you do that now. So, uh, first of all, we're going to need the Hypershade open. Bosch. Nothing like tapping on the keyboard. Um, and I'm going to create uh, a fong for my wall textures because I want them to be a little bit shinier later. Um, so I'm going to click on that to make a new fong and I'm going to call it Wall M, as we do with all textures. And then I'm going to set the color to be a file. Oh, wonderful. And that file is going to be a metal wall because it's nice and cool looking. There we go. Right, so I've made my texture. Now what I want to be able to do is apply it to just one face. If I try and apply it to the entire room, it goes on everything. The floor, it all just looks a little bit stupid. I don't want that. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to put it into face mode. So if I right click on it, there we go. I can see face modes there, so I'm going to release on that. And now, as you can see, I can select individual faces. Now it's important that you click on your home screen there. I don't want you to texture this face at all because we're going to create a window out of that. But you can texture all of the others. So I'm going to select this face over here and then I'm going to right click on my wall material and click on um, assign material to selection. And then you can see I've just textured that one face. Now that at the moment is stretching so we're going to do a little bit of tiling as well of this texture. I don't want it to look stretched. Um, so there we go. Uh, that's what it looks like. Now to be able to um, see the positioning node, because um, it doesn't come up here by default of this material, I'm going to right click and hold and then I'm going to go to graph network which shows the entire network that builds this up. So we've got file 8, wall M, but there's this one here called the place 2D texture node. So I'm going to click on that um, and then all this information here is to do with the placement of this image file. So I'm going to change it a little bit. And you do that by changing the values for repeat UV. So because I want it to tile along here, so up and down, I want it to do that three times. I'm just going to change that number to a three. And there you go, you can see that's changing, it looks less stretched, it tiles really nicely. It's a beautiful texture for that. So then once I've done that, I'm just going to assign this texture to the remaining uh, to the remaining walls. So assign to selection and because it's the same material the tiling stays the same. And then this one as well. Um, assign material to selection. So there we go. That's done all the walls. Now what I'm going to do before I move on to the next video is I'm going to text to the floor and the ceiling leaving this face here alone, just uh, show you which face I mean. So definitely do not do that face, leave that blank, um, but get the wall and the ceiling done before the next video. Okay, see you in a minute.